Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my next and hopefully my last virtual race. And it has to do with what's inside this box. Six point five three miles, eight minutes, fifty nine seconds from my one hundred and thirty seven beats per minute today. Going for a nice and easy run, no strides in there, just easy running, getting the legs moving because it's after all race week. And I know so far this spring I've done a virtual eight k. I did the Shamrock Shuffle, and then from that race I felt like there was a little bit left to be desired in terms of the result. So I pretty quickly decided I would try to put myself through another. 10k time trial so a very similar effort similar distance and now we've got another package here for my next virtual race and hopefully i just got my johnson and johnson vaccine it's in a little bit in another about week or so i'll be fully vaccinated and that means that hopefully this race will be my last virtual race but let's take a look at what's inside this package and i'll tell you all about this race so what we have is a package from the Eugene Marathon. That's gonna be my next race. I'm not running the marathon, I'm running the half marathon. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing while I talk about uh, what I'm hoping to get out of this virtual half marathon. So one of the things that you're getting, I think the kind of like the coolest thing about it, and we'll get to this part first, is the medal. Now the medal for this, and I won't wear it until I actually complete the distance, is a piece of wood. And this piece of wood is from uh, the steps of Hayward Field. Now, Hayward Field is that legendary track in Oregon that was recently completely renovated and they took some of the wood from the bleachers of that stadium and made it available to a variety of different kind of groups and organizations that wanted to do something with a piece of that history. The Eugene Marathon decided that they wanted to try and do something and Hayward Field sent them those pieces of wood to turn into medals for this year's race it says half marathon finisher on the one side and it'll say run in the footsteps of history on the back so pretty cool to have this uh little piece of history i look forward to putting it on when the race is done and it's going to be just this weekend so it's coming up pretty soon other things that we've got in here interesting in the swag bag i love this hat i'm always a big fan of a winter hat uh especially one that has a little bit of a palm on it so that's pretty cool it says eugene uh marathon on it so very nice this water bottle is awesome i have been looking all over the internet for water bottles of this size because all the water bottles that i can find are big they're like that 16 to 20 ounce and i feel like that's like more than i really want to ever have with me on hand this size is absolutely amazing i i want to find out where they got these from so i could buy like six of them because I just feel like this is a really useful size to have for running. So pretty excited about that. Also, there is a uh, one bar. I've never had one of these before. So maybe we'll try these out for next week's Monday mukbang. And then I think these are dog bags. So these are um, kind of like poop bags. This That's what I think that these are. They look like the poop bags that I bring whenever I take my dog outside for a walk, but they're branded with the Eugene Marathon logo. I feel like this is a weird smorgasbord of like someone like sent the Eugene Marathon. Like here are examples of things we could put your logo on. Cause a lot, I guess this makes sense, but a lot of it kind of doesn't make sense either. All right, we've got an Oregon Track Club sticker. Very cool. And then I think it's, Oh, okay. Krusty's is one of the um, sponsors um, of the race. I think they make like pancake mixes and stuff. So you've got like a silicon spatula. This is actually a really good size. I've got a couple of kids and so I think they're really going to love using this when they're cooking. I don't think we've ever had Krusty's pancakes before. I think I'm saying that right, right? Krusty's? I don't think I've ever had Krusty's pancakes before, but maybe we'll have to get some and make a batch and use this Eugene Marathon branded spatula with it awesome there is a uh, cowbell in here it's not well let's get it out of this plastic so we can take a look at it it's from uh, peace health on the one side and uh, eugene marathon on the other so got a nice little cowbell 
Got some uh, pins in here. A nice little race bag. I always love having little bags like this. Um, very convenient uh, for just stashing stuff, storing stuff. Whenever I'm traveling, I usually like to pack in a lot of these because then they fold down real small and then it's a good spot for like dirty laundry, that kind of thing. So you can kind of sequester different categories of clothes. So always nice to have another one of these. Um, let's see what else we got. We've got uh, Associated Vintners, 30% off and free shipping when you buy 12 or more bottles. That's interesting. And then uh, we've got a 13.1 sticker. This is a lot of stuff in this bag. I don't think I paid extra for this stuff. I think this is just what they sent when I signed up like for the virtual race. So lots of cool swag in here. This is one of those things I think people put on their cars and stuff. Uh, I guess I own a car now. So I guess maybe I can do something like that. Here's my bib, 1823. Um, but there's no chip on the back because it's a virtual race, so you don't need it. So this is, I guess, for show. Maybe we'll do a flat lay later this week. Uh, a coupon for Krusty's Protein Pancake Miss. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use, oh, it says good toward one free. So I'll get the free one and I'll use it with the spatula. There we go. And then, ah, some noon. Nice. Some noon sport. Strawberry lemonade. That is a pretty good flavor. This is the kind that has, this is the kind, like the regular kind of noon that, it's got uh, electrolytes, but no sugar in it. So it's not like a sport drink, but this is the kind of stuff that I usually use either for before or after, just to make sure I'm staying hydrated. And that's it, other than a couple of pins in the box. And then we also have the shirt. So here is the shirt. It's a white Nike dry fit shirt. It says Eugene Marathon, running the footsteps of legends. And it's got, what is it? The rosette, the pinwheel. I forget what that logo is called, but pretty cool. And on the back, it's got all the sponsors. So it's got the 26.2, 13.1, the Eugene 5K, and the Duck Dash for the little kiddos. Oregon Track Club logo on the back. Nice. All the other sponsors on here too. So pretty cool shirt. All right. That's it for the swag. Um, pretty cool amount of swag that's in here. Normally, like the swag that you get with a race, you know, I could take it or leave it a lot of the times. It just, a lot of times it seems like coupons and like, samples of weird stuff that I don't really want, but that was actually a pretty cool box. I was surprised by what's in there. Now, in terms of the race, uh, you know, I got my vaccine last week and that really threw me for a loop. I couldn't run for two days. Uh, and then for two days after that, I felt like only could do like a little bit of light running. So um, that kind of threw off, you know, an important week before uh, a half marathon. So, uh, you know, I'm not really sure what kind of shape I'm in. I've been working because I did that 8K and then the 10K time trial, uh, and that wasn't really all that long ago. So I feel like I've got decent fitness for a shorter distance. These last, like I had about three weeks since the 10K time trial uh, to kind of like recover and also put in some longer runs to kind of build up some more endurance for the half marathon distance. Uh, but, you know, with that, kind of like almost a week lost, uh, that kind of throws things off. So, uh, you know, I'm not begrudging at all. I'm very happy to have gotten the vaccine when I did. Um, but I think let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, so the stride thinks that right now, based on like my current level of fitness, that I could come in at 129.51, running at 272 watts, which is 95% of my critical power. So I'm thinking right now, if I can get somewhere in the 130s, like just 130, like not necessarily even, but like 130, under 130, like two, I think that that would be a pretty good day for me, at least from a virtual race perspective, making it completely self-supported, all that kind of stuff, running out there by myself just along the lakefront. So I think that's kind of where my head's at in terms of like the amount of effort I want to put into it. Um, I don't know, we'll see how I feel once I get out there, if I'm feeling good, maybe I'll go for it. Um, but stuff to think about kind of what the exact race plan is gonna be, but I'm thinking probably take it relatively relaxed, like fast and working hard, but like a little bit on the controlled side for probably the first 10 miles and then see what I got left for like the last 5K. So that's kind of loosely what I'm thinking of for now. I don't think that I'm in PR shape for a half marathon. That for me, I think is 128 something. Some, somewhere in that area. I think that's what it is. Uh, it's from a couple of Chicago half marathons ago. I think the 2019 Chicago half marathon. So it's been a while uh, that half marathon PR could use some updating. 
Hopefully it'll be something that gets updated later this year. I'm just not sure it'll be this weekend. This weekend, I'm just gonna get out there, have fun, treat it like a pretty intense workout and uh, just enjoy the fact that spring is coming, my immunity is building, and that this is hopefully going to be my last virtual race. I can't wait for that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, uh, or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do just about every day on YouTube. You can always ask me anything you like there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?